God has called them to teach us, instruct us, encourage us, comfort and console us. They are our pastors, and here at AM 1100 KFAX, it's our privilege to honor them. This is the KFAX Pastor of the Week. Each week, we'll feature one of our own pastors here in the Bay Area, giving you an inside look into the pastor and the ministry God has called them to. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Pastor of the Week. This is Dave Naderhood, and I'm spending time this week with Pastor Paul Baines from St. Samuel Church in East Palo Alto. He's also the president and founder of Project We Hope, which is located here in East Palo Alto. I'm visiting him at his office and getting a tour of the Project We Hope facilities today. Thank you, Dave. Again, it's just a privilege and an honor to uh, be working with KFAX to reach souls for the lost. Yesterday, you shared with us a bit about uh, your family and growing up here. Uh, You grew up in in the Bay Area? Yes, I did. I was born at Stanford and uh, grew up here. I've been as far north as uh, Redwood City and as far south as Mountain View. Wow. <laughs> uh, we want to talk a little bit today about how you heard the call to ministry, and specifically, what, how did the vision take shape for Project We Hope? I'd love to hear about that. My father was a preacher, and my mother was a missionary, and, and so when I was younger, you know, um, I heard the Lord say to me, um, through a couple of deacons that were visiting our church, says, you know, you're going to be a preacher and a millionaire. Well, Dave, I'm no millionaire, that's for sure, and I'm probably a bootleg preacher, as I say. Um, But I heard the Lord speak to me, and then one day, I think I was around 18, and I told my father, I I believe I was called to ministry. Mm -hmm. And I wrote him a letter and put it on his bed, and and, uh, I remember him crying and then giving me a bunch of books to read. (laughs) (laughs) Get started, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now, after ministry at St. Samuel, um, you stepped into that role. That was a long-established church, or how long has St. Samuel been around? Yes, my father established uh, St. Samuel in 1963. Oh, wow. And so I kind of grew up in the church Mm -hmm. um, all my life. And then he passed away, and the bishop came down. And I told the bishop, I don't know if, if I'm called to be a pastor. I know I'm called to ministry, but not to be a senior pastor. And the bishop said that's the first time he's heard a young person say, you know, he doesn't know. And so he let it wave for about a year, year and a half. And then I said, Bishop, I believe I am called mm-hmm. to, to pastor a church. Now, uh, take us forward then to the time where you uh, something stirred inside of you to start a new project. How did that happen? Well, my wife and I, um, when we were going through marriage education before we got married, um, one of the things we wrote down was this is the vision that I had to serve the community. And my wife um, had a very similar vision, un- unbeknownst to either of us. And But when we put them down in writing, um, we come to see that there's a lot of things we had in common. Mm-hmm. And um, that's where I say it was birthed. And uh, how long ago did Project We Hope uh, take shape? Is that, has it been established for a while? Yes. We, this is our 13th year. Um, you know, it's, we st- we're a grassroots organization that was just started with me and my wife and mm-hmm. one other member of the church. It was three of us. Um, and we, we didn't have any money. We didn't have any grants, but we had faith mm-hmm. and we had a vision that God placed in our spirit. Find out how they can get involved, perhaps to come and help out here at uh, Project We Hope or to make a contribution um, or to find out uh, about church on Sunday at St. Samuel. Um, I'm sure you'd love to have them come and worship with you as well. Um, Can you give us those websites that you mentioned yesterday? Sure. Um, Projectwehope.com is one website, excuse me, .org, and stsamuel.org. Okay, so projectwehope.org and stsamuel.org. Yes, sir. Okay, great. If you need that contact information, if you missed it and you're driving in your car, don't pull over to write it down. You can also just remember kfax.com. You'll find all of Pastor Paul's information uh, over there under our Church of the Week tab. So tune in again tomorrow for more with our Pastor of the Week, Pastor Paul Baines from St. Samuel Church. You've been listening to the Pastor of the Week on AM 1100 KFAX. Each Pastor of the Week, this is Dave Naderhood with you again today. And I'm down here in Palo Alto, East Palo Alto, uh, talking with Pastor Paul Baines, who is the senior pastor of St. Samuel Church and the president and founder of Project We Hope, which is an outreach ministry here in East Palo Alto. Well, Dave, again, it's a pleasure being with you. Come check out Worship With You. What might they expect if they came to church? And what's your your worship times? Things like that. Well, um... I would say what we hear the most of when people come is 
when they walk in the door, they feel the love. Mm. Um, you know, whether it's the usher right then and there, or somebody meets them on the outside. Um, we're in the East Palo Alto. It's a community of color. And our church is actually very diverse. Uh, we have African-American, Filipino, uh, Jewish, um, uh, Caucasian, all at our church. And we're like a family. Um, of, we are, matter of fact, our motto is a family of believers. And so what they would expect, our, our church service is at 11 o'clock. You'll hear music. We're a lively group. We don't let the rocks or the stones cry out for us. We'll, <laughs> we'll make our own noise there. And um, they can expect to be loved on. Mm -hmm. um, we always say that when you come to our church, uh, we love you, and there's not a thing you can do about it mm -hmm. but love us back. So I want to uh, just uh, give you a chance as well to uh, mention, you mentioned churches at 11 o'clock. You have some other programs that go on, youth and Yeah, we have, 11, we have, 11, we have <clears throat> Sunday school at 9.30 a.m. Okay. We have a worship service at 11 and at 3 o'clock p.m. Okay. And then on Wednesday nights, we have Bible study at 7 o'clock. Now, folks, dress up to come to church at St. Samuel a little oh, bit? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> if you want to come in a suit and tie or wear a fancy hat if you're a lady um, or come in jeans and a T-shirt, just mm. don't come in a bikini, <laughs> at least not a second time. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So it's come as you are. Come as you are. Right. After you got dressed, it's come as you are. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. Well, thanks so much for taking time to uh, open the doors and let us see inside of St. Samuel Church a little bit today. And if folks uh, are living here in the uh, Palo Alto area, East Palo Alto, in the South Bay, uh, we want to extend that invitation. That's why we do this program uh, featuring different churches all around the Bay so that folks can know. We have a lot of people who move into the area. They may have been looking for a church for a while. Maybe they've been disenfranchised, but they've been listening to KFAX for some time, and they, they just they feel like they've been disconnected from church. We want to really extend that invitation for you to come out this Sunday and worship at St. Samuel's Church. What's the address of the church? It's 1199 East Bayshore Road in East Palo Alto, and we're on the corner of Ralmar and East Bayshore. 1199 East Bayshore Road. East Bayshore and uh, give us the church website once more. St. Samuel, spelled out, S-A-S-A-I-N-T, Samuel, S-A-M-U-E-L dot org. Fantastic. I want to um, just invite our listeners to check that out online. And uh, tomorrow, join us again as we're going to be talking more with Pastor Paul Baines from St. Samuel Church. We'll be talking about the project we hope tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow at the same time for more with our Pastor of the Week. You've been Wednesday edition of the Pastor of the Week. This is Dave Naderhood with you again today, and it's my privilege to be talking with Pastor Paul Baines, who's the senior pastor at St. Samuel Church in East Palo Alto. Well, thank you again, Dave. Again, it's a pleasure being with you and KFAX. I should uh, actually thank him for the warm welcome. I'm down here visiting at Project We Hope this week, and I wonder if you could share with us a little bit of how that comes to be. I think people see uh, organizations like this that are helping others, and, and they got to wonder. I know I do. Uh, how did that get out of somebody's head and into reality to make it happen? Uh, tell us, walk us through that story. Well, it, first of all, being birthed in me and my wife when we were younger and we first started our marital relationship, but... Uh, her and I traveled the country, and we went to various ministries, various nonprofits, and and then we came back home and we put it in what I call our spiritual mixing bowl, hmm. and prayed over it, fasted over it, and then I uh, printed something up, gave it to my wife, and she looked at it and she says, "This is beautiful," and that's what really started the overall vision for Saint Samuel and Project We Hope. Hmm. Because Project We Hope is a birth out of the church. Amen. And I, you were mentioning offline that you had uh, actually taken some of those ideas, you put them up on the wall at the church and, and get other people praying about it as well, right? Amen. You know, I think that's one of the amazing things. People think, well, we all have ideas, we have dreams about how God might be able to use us. But sometimes it just it it's hard to put those dreams into reality and... Uh, really, all it takes is getting those ideas onto paper and praying over it. Um, I, you know, the Lord really wants to use us, doesn't he? He says, write the vision and make it plain mm. so that the people that will hear it can run with it. Yeah. And so that's what we did. We we put that so they can understand it, they can see it, they can memorize it, they mm -hmm. can visualize it, they can be it. Tell us about uh, what the what Project We Hope is really trying to tackle. Well, first of all, We Hope stands for We Help Other People Excel. Mm. That's the acronym of it. And we focus in three primary areas, homelessness, because East Palo Alto has the largest amount of homeless people in, in the whole county of San Mateo. 
and that's unbeknownst to a lot of people out there in, in the community. Then we also focus in on education. Um, my wife um, and I, we plan on starting a preschool um, next year because East Palo Alto only has two preschools, and yet mm-hmm. the education system, you know, we have a 67% dropout rate, our non-graduation wow. rate. And then the other is violence prevention, and that's where our chaplaincy comes involved, helping to minister to families who have lost victims of, to violence and minister to the police officers and their families and what have you. Mm-hmm. So those are the three primary areas that we focus on. We do feed kids every week, about 160 kids every week um, through our church, St. Samuel, mm-hmm. but it's also under the umbrella of Project We Hope. If God's put the burden of homelessness on your heart, here's an organization that's doing something about it right now and has articulated a vision to end homelessness. It's not just in East Palo Alto, but you really minister in the counties around here as well, right? Oh, yes. Palo Alto, Menlo Park, Redwood City. We have people come as far as San Francisco and San Jose mm-hmm. to our shelter, mm-hmm. and we're not going to turn anybody away. Amen. Well, as we conclude today, I want to uh, just mention uh, Project We Hope has a, a great website for you to check out more information about it as well as to make a donation. Uh, you can contact them here. Uh, what's the phone number here at Project We Hope? 650-330-8000. And the website one more time. Website is projectwehope.org. Okay. Uh, More tomorrow with our Pastor of the Week, Pastor Paul Baines, who, again, is the senior pastor at St. Samuel Church and the founder and president of Project We Hope here in East Palo Alto. You've been listening to the... God has called them to teach us, instruct us, encourage us. This is the Friday edition of the Pastor of the Week. This is Dave Naderhood, and I'm talking today, I've been talking all week with Pastor Paul Baines from St. Samuel Church in East Palo Alto. He's also the founder and president of Project We Hope. It's been around for about 13 years here in East Palo Alto, and it's an outreach of the church, but it's a a nonprofit organization that helps with homelessness, uh, responding to violence. More about Project We Hope, I'm looking forward to uh, learning more about this ministry, and also to encourage our listeners to get involved and to find out more themselves. I I really want people to know that we need their help to, if they could partner with us to help deal with the systemic issues, particularly in this East Palo Alto community. Um, We need their help to partner with us to end homelessness um, in East Palo Alto um, because it has the highest amount of homeless people in the whole county of San Mateo Mm. and they can